good morning and um, this is a short video on something called a wonder bag so this is the wonder bag here as you can see from the label what it basically is it's a non-electric slow cooker so it was originally developed by a woman called Sarah Collins in 2008 um, she lived in South Africa and she developed it as a solution to the energy shortages they had there where they had continuous rolling blackouts or forced blackouts. Um, so this was designed to allow families to continue cooking when the power went off. So um, it was inspired by her grandmother who allegedly used to cover the food with cushions when the power went off in the 1970s to let the food continue cooking. It works very much like a hay box, which they also used during World War II. Um, so basically, you start off cooking your food on the stove and then once it's boiling, so after a few minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes, um, you put the lid on the pot and you place the pot inside this. As you can see, it's all padding all the way around in the inside and the bottom is cushioned. And then you place the lid, which is like another big cushion, on top of the pot and you seal the bag up. And when you come back, even up to four or five hours later, you take the pot out, the food is still hot, and it has, a, the, if it's meat that's cooking, it becomes really soft, like it would if it came out of a slow cooker. But obviously you're not using any electric, so it's saving you in power, and the food is still hot when you come home as well, so you don't need to reheat it. Um, I've done a recipe with it, so I'll add that on here as well, so you can see. Okay, so we decided to do some savoury mince and use the wonder bag to cook it off the rest of the way. So we started off by melting some fat saved from sausages earlier on. Then we added some chopped onions, fried them off. And I apologise for the background noise, but the, all the family were getting ready to go out to the farm. <laughs> so it's a bit noisy, everyone scrambling about looking for wellies um, and then we added some chopped mince, just beef mince So we browned the mince off. We added some garlic because I put garlic in everything. Uh, some black pepper and some mixed herbs. that through well. And then I 
added some carrots, chopped carrots. Chop them up smaller because they cook quicker. And then I've added a small bowl of porridge oats. This is just to bulk it out, which I've been doing with meat and it works really well. At first everyone said I'm not eating porridge meat, but it doesn't taste like porridge meat when it's cooked. It's actually very nice. Well, they've all gotten used to it in our house now anyway. Then I've added just a tin of peas. That's the gravy going in. The whole process so far has been quite quick. So as you can see, it's it's bubbling away now. It's boiling, and at this point, you can take your pot off. You can put the lid on it, take it off the heat, and place it straight in the wonder bag from here. So it's it's really not a long cooking time at all. Once it's in the wonder bag and the lid on, it will just continue cooking. You can go out, you can go about your day, you can come back in four or five hours and your food will be cooked through, really soft and still hot. Just make sure the bag's really tight. Tie it all up. Okay, so now you've seen how it works. Um, this has saved me money and power. I use this after cooking dinner, anytime I'm making any kind of sauce. I start it off on the stove and then I switch the stove off once the, the food is boiling. I put the lid on it and I stick it straight in here and cover it up and I leave it in there to continue cooking. Um, I don't know about anyone else watching but my power bills this month, because I just came off a fixed deal in December, have went absolutely through the roof. So I'm definitely going to be using this for the rest of the year. Um, you can, I mean, this costs about £50, something like that now. Um, I have heard of people making these um, on their own. If you're good at sewing, I'm sure you could manage. Uh, people also making the old hay box style ones from the idea from World War II. Uh, 
it really, really does save on electric or gas, whatever you use. And the food comes out really nice and soft and tender. Um, so if you're looking to save money, this really does work. Thanks for watching.